So yeah guys, I'm back and Raw has just finally ended. Um, I watched it and I'm gonna give the full result on what happened. Um, if you didn't know, uh, Raw was taped in England, so that's why I can see it earlier than you uh, who live in America. You can see it in you know your regular time on um, USA Network, but today I'm gonna give you the full results earlier. So here we go. Raw kicks off with you know the Ambrose Asylum with his host, you know, us of course, Dean Ambrose. Uh, Ambrose introduces guest Shane McMahon. Um, Shane says that he, he is here for the fans. Afterwards, Kevin Owens comes out. Uh, also, Sami Zayn and Chris Jericho also interrupt the segment. Um, Sami Zayn versus Owens and and Jericho versus Ambrose is set for WWE Payback on May the first. Um, he makes. Um, Sammy versus Jericho for tonight and then Ambrose versus Kevin Owens for tonight's main event so just this was a fucking good um, segment I mean to kick off Monday Night Raw with Dean Ambrose is f truly good and to have both you know uh, Sami Zayn versus you know Chris Jericho is also good and also have Dean Ambrose versus Kevin Owens I mean what more can you ask about then we have the first match um, for tonight after their segment, which, which is Chris Jericho versus Sami Zayn. Chris Jericho actually defeated Sami Zayn here, but this match was awesome, guys. You have to watch this, guys, because Chris Jericho and Sami Zayn gave everything they had. I mean, it was a very, very good match. I I liked it a lot. Um, I actually wanted uh, Sami Zayn to win her, but it is what it is. But Chris Jericho winning here, it was good also, but this match was epic in my opinion. Now after that first match, we saw the Bullet Club, or two members of the former Bullet Club, I don't know what you kind of call it, Doc Gallows and the Machine Gun Carl freaking Anderson interrupt a backstage um, on AJ Styles interview, yes. Gallows and, you know, Anderson made it clear that they that they have Styles back at Payback so this means that everything can go down in Payback so this means that AJ Styles might get the win at you know Payback to get the belt because he's a former member of the Bullet Club so this makes me fucking wait I can't wait to see you on how Payback will be because I mean come on it's you know three man former of the Bullet Club uh, Doc Gallows, Carl Anderson, and AJ Styles. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm so fucking pumped. This segment was also good. Um, <clears throat> after that segment, we saw the second match. Um, no, sorry. After that, you know, segment, we saw another, you know, kind of segment, but a funny one, which is Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy cuts a promo. Like I said before, I love, you know, um, Enzo Amore and Colin Kadesi. I was so fucking happy to see that WWE has finally um, take them up to the main roster because they deserve it. And the, the last couple of weeks I've seen them, they impressed me every single week. And this week, they impressed me so well. I mean, the mic skills that Enzo Amore has is phenomenal, and I can't describe it by words how fantastic these these guys are. So I like this promo too. Uh, after their little bit promo, we saw um, our second match for tonight, which is Enzo Amore and Big Cass versus the Dudley Boys. Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy actually defeated the Dudley Boys to make it, you know, to the tournament's final. And holy shit, guys, when you look at this on paper, uh, Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy versus the Dudley Boys. You think that it's gonna be epic, and if you think that it's gonna be epic, you have fucking right because this match also full of god good, you know, wrestling uh, style matches. I like it a lot, guys. I think this is one of the best matches of tonight. Uh, just to see how talented these uh, two NXT guys are, and also uh, Deadly Boys. I mean, they they shown a lot of wrestling talent too. So this match also good. So when you see it on your television. You have to watch this match because it was awesome. But anyway, Enzo Moore and Colin Cassidy defeated the other boys. Now, after that match, uh, 
we see Roman Reigns comes out to cut his, you know, cut his the guy promo. Afterwards, AJ Styles talks and interrupts and um, talks about their match at Payback. Um, Anderson and, and Gallows came out of nowhere and started to attack Reigns and lay him out. So, you know, the Bullet Club, um, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson was actually attacking Reigns. And the funny thing is that the, the London crowd was actually um, chanting, um, cheering for, you know, the Bullet Club to beat, you know, Reigns up. So I'm definitely 100% sure that WWE is going to um, change the crowd reaction so they boo instead of, you know, share or something else as they did at WrestleMania because the fans went nuts when the fucking two, a former member of um, the Bullet Club was, you know, attacking, you know, Roman Reigns, stuff like that. Um, and they actually took, you know, Reigns out. So I thought this, you know, segment was fantastic and Hopefully, you know, we will, we will see more, sh you know, crazy shit coming up, you know, these weeks until, you know, payback. But I can tell you right now, I'm like, actually excited to see, you know, AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns right now. Uh, at first, I was kind of skeptical, but right now, after seeing this, I'm freaking happy to see, and I can't wait to see what's going on next. So, after that um, segment with Roman Reigns, uh, we saw another, you know, backstage where AJ Styles tells Roman Reigns that he had nothing to do with the earlier attack which is kind of strange because we all know that maybe AJ Styles is going to turn heel uh, on Payback because right now he played you know the innocent guy here which WWE always do for some strange reason but anyway you know AJ Styles said that he had nothing to do with his attack which I think is BS but um yeah, more. Yeah, I, I, I can't say anymore. But the attack on Reigns was actually very good. Now, after another segment, we saw the um, the third match for tonight, uh, which is Baron Corbin versus Fandango, and of course Baron Corbin defeated Fandango. And after the match, Dolph Ziggler attacked Corbin for I don't know, for I don't know where and. So this is set up to a feud between Baron Corbin and Dolph Ziggler. Personally, I don't know why these two are feuding, uh, but we have to wait and see for more, you know, story to be told. So, yeah, um, it was a good. This match was kind of boring. I mean, Baron Corbin actually slaughtered uh, Fandango in a quick match. Nothing special, but yeah, good win for Baron Corbin, I guess. And his feud with Dolph Ziggler might be good. So yeah. So after that match, we, you know, cut to commercial. After commercial, we saw Miss and Maurice are out for Miss TV segment. His guest for this week is Azaro. Um, they talked a little bit, but they was they were interrupted by Chambers, Rusev, and Alberto De Rio. Um, also, the New Day also came out, um, and eventually, they, you know, they talked, but um, later on, this led to a match. Which we saw the New Day and Cesaro versus you know the Miss and the League of Nations. Um, the New Day and Cesaro defeated uh, the Miss and the League of Nations. Uh, same here. I actually thought that this match was also good. I mean, I love the New Day and I love Cesaro. Um, so, you know, Cesaro teaming up with the New Day was actually a good match in my opinion. Uh, it was a good tag team match. Um, not so much crazy moves, but it you know it didn't felt boring I actually felt that it was a good match so um, yeah I think it was a very good match um, and now after that match uh, our, our fourth match we saw another backstage segment with Natalia and you know Charlotte Natalia says that she will be in, you know she will get her title shot at payback and Brett the hate man heart will be in her corner so this is actually good news because this hopefully this means that you know Ric Flair won't cheat at Payback because Ric Flair has helped Charlotte win in like almost every big pay-per-view that Charlotte has had and it comes to a point where you know it's kind of boring to see you know Ric Flair always helping Charlotte so 
thank God for you know Brett Aitman Hart to be in you know Natalia's corner to even the odds. So hopefully we'll see something better matches than we have seen you know before. But this segment was cool. I mean, I can't wait to see Natalia versus Charlotte. Um, so yeah, I'm also pumped for see that. Now, after that segment with Natalia, we saw Natalia, Sasha Bank, Becky Lynch, and Paige versus Tamina Snuka, Naomi, Summer Rae, and Charlotte. But, you know, Team Natty actually defeated um, Team Charlotte here. Um, I was kind of skeptical about this match at first, but it actually turned out very good in my opinion. Uh, it was a very good women's match um, here also. Uh, some cool spots here. I thought they saved, you know, a lot of, you know, um, speed and crazy moves to the real pay-per-view and I can absolutely 100% agree to do that why they did it but other you know um, to give it you know right now um, it was a good match so after the Divas match we saw the fifth match for tonight which is another tag team match in tournament and that's the Van Duvelaines versus the Usos the Van Der Blains, uh, defeated the Usos here, and this was a good match. I predicted this, you know, when I saw this tournament that uh, Enzo Amora would face their former NXT feud enemies, uh, and it happened. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to see next week's um, Raw or if it's if they're gonna have the big match on uh, pay, um, Payback. But I have to wait to see. But the tag team match right now looks absolutely fantastic, and seeing Enzo Amore versus the Vanderlanes would is is an awesome match. So yeah. Now after that uh, tag team match, we saw the sixth match for tonight, which is Apollo Cruz versus Heath Slater. And if you watched my previous videos, I have already given out the spoilers for this match, but I, f I felt like you know talk about this again. Uh, Apollo Crews defeated Heath Slater here, and a story here was told that if you know Apollo Crews lost here, he would join um, Social Outcast. But uh, of course, you know Apollo Crews defeated Heath Slater here. Short match, but yeah, it was okay. Now we have the main event of the show, which is Dean Ambrose versus Kevin freaking Owens. Dean Ambrose actually, you know, defeated Kevin Owens with, you know, a Dirty Deeds in the main event. Um, and this fucking main event was phenomenal. Freaking phenomenal. I think this was the, one of the best main events I've seen in a long fucking time in WWE. Because both Kevin Owens and Dean Ambrose gave everything they had. But um, eventually, you know, Dean Ambrose, you know, capitalized the win here. And... Uh, after the match, you know, Chris Jericho ran down and attacked Ambrose by hitting a code breaker to end Raw. And after the match, there was a um, dark match, which um, led it to, you know, ke um, both Kevin Owens and, you know, Chris Jericho attacking the, uh, Dean Ambrose. Then suddenly we hear, you know, AJ, AJ Styles' music hits, and AJ Styles ran into the ring to save, you know, Ambrose. And afterwards, uh, Dean Ambrose and AJ Styles wanted to have a tag team match against um, Kevin Owens and Y2J. But I'm not sure if that happened because my live stream shut off. But yeah, it was a good main event. So yeah guys, that's the full show. Um, what I can tell you right now is that this show in England was, without a doubt, fucking amazing. I don't give a shit if you hate the show. I fucking love this show. And this show had very good matches. Uh, I didn't think there was any bad matches. The only match that was kind of uh, weird or normal match raw was Baron Corbin versus Fandango. I thought that was uh, a weird match, but it was all good. I mean, the first match, you know, which is... Um, um, you know, big cast Chris Jericho versus you know Zayn Zayn, phenomenal match. Um, the match you know, Enzo Amore versus the Dallas Boys, fantastic fucking match. Uh, 
every every match tonight was awesome. I give this Monday Night Raw a 9 out of 10.